Hi guys. First, I want to say thank you for all the kind words and support on my last video. Wow, I was totally overwhelmed. Thank you to my patrons. I opened my heart big for you. It's because of you guys um, that helped me bring more art videos to you. This channel is only possible because of you. So the link to PayPal is in the description box and even small donations are welcome. Pillow cells, remember these? Okay, you can't forget the last couple videos have been all about the pillow cells and I've been trying to recreate them and perfect the technique and recipe. And I'm trying to get that kind of translucent hollow look at the bottom and just play around with the technique a little bit. I used a 16 inch round. So I didn't have silver. So I took micaceous oxide, that's a golden fluid, plus white, and then that equals kind of a silver color. And because micaceous oxide is, kind of has a little sparkly tone to it, it, it makes um, an iridescent silver. Can you believe only six days until my live auction, um, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on December 1st? If you are curious about the auction, just come and join in the fun. Um, there's usually people just chatting in the live feed and having a good time. And if you're not wanting to bid, it's still a nice place to be. So uh, please join me at 4 p.m. Uh, December 1st on my channel. Okay, so what I decided to do here, I kind of changed my mind midstream. First, I was just going to do half of this canvas with the homemade silver that I made. And I these paints are all very thin, um, very thin compared to what I'm used to working with, actually. You can see I have a lot of different colors mixed up over there. But um, at the last minute, I decide I need to put at least a small base coat down. Uh, you see it's very, very, very thin, and I decide to put that down on the portion that I'm going to swipe. And uh, I thought, I just didn't want any bare canvas accidentally showing. Uh, however, I do think that it's important to say not to put too much paint on these swipes because it does make a difference. Um, so I decided to go for a deep red. This is a custom color I made from the Golden Fluids. And then this is the Quinacridone Burnt orange of golden fluid, the golden fluid copper, and the golden fluids gold. And then this is the golden fluids black. And this, I am in love, <laughs> never tried it before until the other day, the golden fluid whites, and I'm having a love affair with the golden fluid white, you guys. It is something special. I should have been using it a long time ago, but you know, Artist Loft is really cheap and golden fluids are not. So the idea of using white seemed ridiculous, um, but it's really, really awesome. Now you see I tilted from side to side to get some of that paint off. You need to do it because otherwise, uh, I noticed that's one of the issues with the pillow cells developing is if there's too much paint accumulating uh, where the swipe is. So the other thing I noticed is you have to have a dark color right against the pillow cells. So that's why I have been swiping with black or uh, Van Dyke Brown or something dark. Look at the pretty cells developing. And then here's another little swipe. You notice I don't swipe perfectly straight down. I know some people are very articulate. I kind of like the the movement um, of the different strokes. So to me, I think it creates much more interest. So then I add, this is the uh, golden pearl, the iridescent pearl fluid. And I put that over the top of the swipe. Now, literally just not totally over the top, but right at the edge there. Now, what I've discovered is there is a tilting motion that's um, 
important. So you can't tilt it too much or the cells just lose their shape and they go out of um, proportion. And then they also, you guys, they will crack upon drying, which happened to me. Um, so you don't want that to happen. But the tilting somehow basically puts the darker color um, at least partially underneath that layer. And in this case, it's the pearl. So I noticed it was getting a little weak looking at the top. Um, although I was getting the translucency I was looking for in the top and bottom, I also noticed that the paint structure, because these are really thin, so the paint structure was actually looking pretty weak, and I was scared that it was going to crack again. So I wanted to uh, make sure, to try to make sure that didn't happen. And so I added a little bit more of the pearl droplets. You don't have to use a pipette. I just like it because it's easy. And um, I bought like 500 of them <laughs> for like $4 or something. It was crazy. Amazon had a giant bag when it arrived. I thought, what am I ever going to do with these pipettes? But I ended up using it in the fractal painting, the dendrite garden. And um, I, so I've, I've just had the bag out. I've been using them whenever I can. Um, so the other part is I want to draw some of the dark color through to define and separate the, the pillow cells. So I use my popsicle stick to do that. And then I just kind of wanted to give it a little bit of a wispy look up here, blending some of that pearl into the silver. Now, did you see that, you guys? So see, that shows you that black that I swiped has gone all the way under to the back, basically. So when I swiped the top, some black is coming out, some red is coming out. So you know, that's how you know that those colors are underneath that uh, pearl color. And that's really one of the key factors in making this look happen. So... Um, you know, it's something that you're going to have to practice or maybe it'll be really easy. I mean, I don't know. You can see that I've had to practice. I think this is like my sixth or seventh canvas for sure. And um, a few I scraped off and didn't show, of course. And I've had quite a few of them work, but yeah. Now, I posted this on Facebook in the groups and so many of you said, do it again with the blue. So I mixed up blue paints and after I get done editing and this video and posting it, I will do it with the blue because I think it looks, it will look like a wave pour. And so I'm pretty excited to see. I love you guys' ideas and comments and man, I just have to say the support yesterday um, from people kind of like bullying me to give up this recipe when I'm just figuring it out. It was really nice and I have some loyal, loyal supporters. It just, it was very humbling, I guess. I felt very humbled yesterday and I'm also feeling a little bit better today from my car accident. Um, for those of you who wish me well, I really appreciate it and all of the kind words and thoughts. Um, I do believe in the power of, um, you know, wishing well for another person and having it affect them. And I swear I could be so much more pain than I am right now. So I am not worse today than I was yesterday. And, and that's amazing. So I'm really, really blessed and thankful. So we're almost to the end. You guys, these, these paintings are so short compared to my normal paintings. It's crazy. Um, but I want to show you, here's a video close up of the, there's the whole painting. Isn't it pretty? And then look, oh, it's so frosty and beautiful. And all of those lovely cells. I just, they're so pretty. Yeah, there's that beautiful translucent quality right there I love. 
And I just think it turned out so good. This is a powerful piece. Look at some of the details. Aren't they gorgeous? I love this. I'm going to do this one in that super ultra shiny gloss varnish. And it will look almost just like this when it's completely dried with that varnish. So I can't wait. So thanks, guys. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you at my auction. And uh, much love to you all. Thank you for letting me make these art videos just for you.